out of those whom he initiated to gain the same status one is master man another is master vps yes. their stories are also very beautiful i have picked up the story of master man because he is in this lineage the other master took to the path of healing much more than the path of yoga yoga path includes healing but if you specifically take to healing only you will not proceed with yoga yes to heal one need not go very far in himself he was settled with healing but but master man settled with yoga and he could also heal when you are a yogi every yogi is a healer also every healer may not be a yogi so master man he was himself a very highly educated person an advocate like our ignacio an advocate you know advocates have such a huge of cases with horrible problems you know amen also belong to you a, fa- a family where worship of krishna is very deep he was a man of heart more than of mind by nature but somehow providence took him to advocacy and the cases full of litigations quarrels conflicts disputes working with them not with not only with the mind but also with the heart he became restless he lost his peace of mind he was worshiping krishna to gain the peace of mind but he was really very restless and unhappy and was he was only feeling is this all the life daily going to the court of law and arguing for people strenuously there is always the opponent who also argues you have to prove your intellect more and more to him it was not to the not to his entire liking since it was not his nature but his family he had lot of barristers barristers of law a high honor in the education in law coming from the united kingdom just like the indians to to gain the honor of an english graduation they used to take barrister of law a, a kind of a qualification a degree a graduation like by this doctors also go even today to england to be called frcs meaning fellow of royal society of surgeons a fellow of royal society of surgeons that is called fr cs royal society of civil surgeons something like that so this there were so many barristers and there is a huge respect in the society if someone is a barrister his own family carried many lawyers incidentally our brother ramana is also from that family to that he is he is he is linked to that family through the <coughs> paternal side so he was restless not happy he had a he had his maternal uncle a 
a big barrister, a big name in our state. He invited him to Chennai. He invited M.N. to Chennai and asked him to take care of some cases. He went to Chennai. And attending to his uncle's cases. There is an younger brother, the brother to that uncle by name, Janak Ramaya, who is grandfather to our Ramana. Ramana was there? Sir. <laughs> he was a follower of Master Siri. So one day he happened to go to his younger uncle's house and explained, I am so restless, I feel unhappy about all this profession. And his uncle wanted that he should come to Chennai to handle some cases. The, the other uncle, he is not a lawyer, he is not an advocate. He is a homeo doctor. See the beauty. And he is linked to Master Siri. He took initiation from Master Siri. He said, if you are so restless and if you are so badly looking for peace of mind, why don't you go to Kumbhakona, which is an overnight journey, and meet the Master? It so happened that Amen was interested with some cases in a town near Kumbhakonam called Tanjavur. Tanjavur, the huge temple where I take you to show you the big Sivalingam. So the cases demanded him there and then Master is only 20 kilometers from there. So he thought he would take the opportunity and go to see the Master. When Amman arrived at Master's place, Master was at the threshold of his house, <coughs> as if waiting for him, as if waiting for him. Amman came and saw the Master. He was thrilled. <coughs> and Master said, what for have you come? What for have you come? Amen said, I badly need peace of mind, Master. The Master said, It is granted. Finish. It is granted. <laughs> Amen writes, in his own diary, that from that moment, I don't know what happened in me, that I never had any disturbance in my mind for the rest of my life. And Amen, when he was granted peace of mind, he also knows from his uncle that the master initiates. So he requested the master, Will you, would you be so kind to initiate me? He smiled and said, come in. Then and there, then and there, he says it. And he initiated him and said, now you can go. It's over. Do this regularly morning and evening. You don't have to come here anymore. Everything will come to you. Everything will come to you. You don't have to come here anymore. So authoritative, so emphatic. I mean, was surprised. And he was filled with the energy of Master. 
and he was so inspired that he straight away went home. He did not go back to Chennai and all that. And then he started practicing the prayer morning and evening. And within very short time, very short time, he could feel the presence of the Master in his heart. And Master was directing him from, from the heart. And he was, in a matter of two to three years, started initiating people. He wrote a letter to the Master that uh, people are seeking initiation from me, can I do it? Even before his postcard reached the Master, Master reply, reply came to him. He can already start initiating people. Likewise, anything the Master... Master Raman was asked by his followers, when he asked Master CVV in prayer, the next day he gets a postcard that you can do this. You can do this. And later, Master CVV himself declared to some members who came from Andhra Pradesh to Tamil Nadu, to take initiation. He said, you don't have to come here. There is a little master in Ungol. He can take initiation there. It is he who named Master Raman as the little master. Even during his lifetime, within five years, he said he is the little master. And when people were coming from Andhra Pradesh to him, he used to say, how is your little master like? They had such a direct communications between them that there was no need again for a master and man to go to him. And very soon Master C.V. we also departed from the body. And Master Amman went on initiating people and healing people in an excellent way. And uh, he himself demonstrated that he has attained immortality to his followers. I told you in one of the makers how Master Amman can simultaneously kiss all the members in the group do you remember? They felt that every member in the group who were under meditation, they wanted some experience from the Master. He said, I'll give you the experience, get into the prayer. Then when they closed their eyes and started praying, it looked as though in the prayer that they received a kiss on their cheek. Everyone without fail. So after the prayer is over, he asked them, what have you experienced? They were like ladies, very shy to tell him <laughs> what happened. It was very playful. Very playful. He was very, he was a smoker and a coffee drinker and a tennis player. So it only shows those activities do not prevent you to be a yogi. Ah, he drinks coffee, ah, he drinks, he smokes. Master CBV was also a coffee drinker, but not a smoker. Master Raman was a coffee drinker and a smoker. So, is Ma so was Master Ike. Until, 
until six months before his departure. Six months before his departure, Mahasarika stopped smoking. So, just to give you some stories relating to what happened after Master C.V. Master Raman conducted yoga so well for until 1944 and then departed. His practice was you know, almost a child's play to him thereafter. Ever since the touch of the Master, he did not give up his practice, but practice was a child's play for him. It became so small in his mind that he was regularly going to the court, but morning, evening prayers were very regular. And like Master CVV, his house was a house which was always filled with mediums for morning and evening prayers. And in his house, the kitchen was on all the twenty-four hours. That's the speciality of Master Man. The kitchen, you know in those days there were no stoves, no gas stoves, nothing. It was like, you see in Guru Pujas, how we cook food through the firewood. In the southeast corner of the house, he made a huge, a lengthy place where you can keep four vessels always cooking food. Rice, one vegetable, and then you all know the dal, and then the sambar. And yogurt, everything is always kept ready at home. Throughout, any time people can come, take food, and there was no dearth of money for him. He said, he never charged his clients, this is my bill for the work done. He used to say, if you feel like you can pay, otherwise you can. If you have, you can pay. If you feel like you can pay. He never asked as a, as a professional that uh, this is my fee for the work done. I adopted that model in my profession. So he was such a nice, uh, very pleasant person in the society. Mind you, none of Master CVV's followers are cut off from the society. They are a success in the society and also a success in the other society. Yoga school friends society. He playfully conducted till 1940. He took initiation in 1916. And he went on initiating so many in Andhra Pradesh. <coughs> so many. And his healing was very... If someone says, at, from a distant place someone comes, so-and-so was bitten by snake, and the, the poison is so strong that he is on the, almost on the verge of death. He used to take a stick here and hit hard on the floor, as if you hit the hood of the snake and says, go, he will be saved. Be saved. There are people who even today they narrate that their fathers went through this. And someone comes and says in a, from a distant village, some very black scorpion has bitten my father and he is suffering, the poison is moving upwards. He used to, a man used to take out his chapel and hit it on the wall, strongly, in a strong manner, as if he is, as if you kill a scorpion. Then the snake poison, the scorpion poison comes out.
You see, that's how it is, the mass energy. Once a lady who is a widow, she received at the time a bounty of 4,000 rupees. 4,000 during those days is like 400,000 rupees today. Because the value of money is like that today in, in equation. She came to the master for the normal prayers. Master said to that lady, Look here, I am in need of money. If you have four thousand rupees, you may give me. <laughs> she was surprised. She received four thousand rupees, some kind of legacy. And thereafter he comes to the she comes to the prayer. The master says, I need four thousand rupees. If you have, please give me. She said, Master, I don't have so much money. <laughs> Master said, if you don't have, don't worry. Later, three years after, the lady came weeping. Because they were coming for prayers regularly, but there was no speech about money and all that. No conversation. She came and wept for three, for, for, after three years. Master, when you asked me for four thousand rupees, I had that money. Yes. Then the master man said, yes, I know that. I wanted to save that money for you. Not, now you have lost it, isn't it? He said. No, Master, my relatives took away as loans, saying that they will pay me with interest, but they are not paying. Yes. I mean, sir, that was exactly the reason that I asked you for thousand, not that I needed it, but to save it for you. But you, sp you spoke a sweet lie. He said, Master, please help me. He said, it won't come. It's gone. It was your karma, actually, that you should lose all that four thousand. I tried and I tried to see that I can save it for you. But you denied my help. Instead of giving me, you gave it to relatives. And they don't pay you because they know you that you are a widow and nobody will come to your help and you need them. She needs their help. She is dependent on them. Why will they pay? <laughs> they did not pay. She wrote herself, this is what happened in my life when I spoke a lie to Master. Like that. When Master Raman said, was speaking about immortality and the absence of death, etc. One scholar came and said, Is it so, so true as we say? He is a, a person who has, who, who grows rice in his fields. He said, Bring me a bag of rice. Then he brought a bag of rice, a half bag of rice. He said, open the bag. He opened the bag, he touched all that rice with his hands and said, this rice will remain more than hundred years with the same fragrance. It will not get spoiled. Leave it in your family, let them check up. Now their grandsons, to them it's a, an exhibition piece. 
If people come, they show the, their, their eyes. The rice is very much there, you can smell it. It is so fragrant and taken to the color like a golden rice color. It is available. If you wish to see, there is a place called Varangal on the way to Hyderabad from Vijayawada. So even rice grains can be granted such life which would not stay more than four to five years. <coughs> like that he demonstrated. He is the one who is helping for, for establishment of the energy of Master CBB, especially in the West. Especially in the West. He is always around whenever we are at work. And is generally willing to help. He has marked himself to this part of the globe by his own choice. By his own choice. Master Ike was regularly visiting Master Emman's house after he received the touch of yoga. Master Raman, the way he passed away, maybe in the afternoon, I can speak a little about Master Iki. Now it is getting noon time. When they appointed, he, when they appointed our come for him to depart, Master Raman, Three years before he told his disciples, note this date, which it would be very important for you. That date is very important for you to meet me, to come and see me. To some of his followers, he gave the date when, not saying that he is going to depart, he said, on this day you may have to come and see me. Many of them noted. On that day, in the morning, he took an oil bath, a head bath, a very detailed bath, as if you take it, generally we take it on festive days, on Saturdays, and on birthdays. A head bath applying oil to the whole body and applying special paste, cleaning, extra cleaning of the body. So that day he did extra cleaning and has put on all new, the dress new, everything new. His lady asked, what is so special about this day you are wearing all new clothes and putting on new things and even rings, etc. He said, yes, it's a special day. Very special for me, he said. Then he went to the court, to the law court. He met all friends and the judges. Spoke as... Usually, he was always a very cheerful person. He had an extra cheer. He demonstrated extra cheer, spoke to everyone, including the the servants who help. He was moving by a horse-drawn cart. He had his own. He was the owner of a horse-drawn cart. That was the style during those days. There were no motor vehicles in uh, such towns. They were all very new motor vehicles, motor cars. So on the way, he stopped at friends' houses and said, how are you? And made specific inquiries on the return. Came home, <laughs> took shower once again and uh, was about to sit in prayer. Normally his lady also joins him in prayer. So she sat, 
But then she remembered maybe there were some five minutes left before prayer. Maybe I'll bring you a cup of coffee, she said. She went into the house to prepare coffee. Master sat in prayer mood, eh? closed his eyes. And when the lady came back with a cup of coffee, he was not there, the body was there. She was, she was stunned and shocked. He did not even mention. <laughs> no, 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 I don't need coffee, please sit. He left. She immediately informed the people in the town and they informed the disciples. They all came. He gave this day to us, we were to come here, they said. They showed in their own books uh, that he gave that date and we were to come here. We did not know this. Such was his. It's a glorious departure like Master. No? Master is just as Master said we departed, Master and departed like. That's how it was. Oh.